Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. Well, I just got back from the FedEx Ship Center and I picked up this box and I thought, what the hell, I'll shoot a reptile unboxing video. You know, I've never done one of these unboxing videos before, but I see them all the time. So I thought I'd, you know, give it a shot. It seems to be a very popular genre on reptile related content here on YouTube. The other reason I thought I'd shoot this unboxing video is this is a boa I've been looking for for a very long time and I, they're very hard to find now so I was lucky to find this animal. And this is likely to be the last animal that I bring into my collection for a very long time if not forever so this might be it. Famous last words of course. But um, I'm basically at the point where I have run out of space and resources and any future animal that I'm going to add to the collection is likely to be a holdback because I've got a really good group of breed boas that I plan to breed from and a lot of really cool projects to take forward and the, the next generation of holdbacks will continue these projects. So without further ado, I'm going to let the unboxing begin. And I've got my trusty scissors here. You can see this is a, appears to be a 12 by 9 by 7 inch box. This is actually a pretty standard size that I use for my babies. You can see it's nicely packaged. We got the tape across the top and the sides. And we got the species identified on the side in compliance with the Lacey Act. Of course, I'm not going to show you that right now because I want you to leave you in a little bit of suspense here. Okay, we got our foam. And just notice I'm unpacking this in a completely different room away from all my other snakes. This animal is going to be in quarantine for about three months or so before being put into any close proximity with my other snakes. Oh, I can hear a little bit of a hiss. I don't know if you hear that on camera. Uh, that might give you a tip off. This is a form of boa that's known to be a little bit hissy, but of course it's all for show. Okay, let's see if I can untie this. Sometimes you just have to resort to the scissors, but this maybe this will be okay to untie. So I got it untied now. Let's have a look in here. There he is. Oh, he is a little bit, doesn't look completely thrilled to see me, but you know, he's been in this box the last day or so. So you can't blame him. There he is poking his head out with this little guy. Wow, what a beauty. Wow, look at that. So you probably guessed by now this is an Argentine boa. Boa constrictor occidentalis. I've been looking for a male for quite a long time since I have a number of females, but I needed a male to add to my breeding group. This is actually the Max Pink bloodline or the Max Pink line that's uh, established by Bob over at Ancient Reproductions. And I've been looking at his animals for a while. Well, wow, they're just beautiful. I mean, the, the pink is one thing, but then the pattern on this animal is just gorgeous. Wow, look at that. I don't know if you can see on camera. I'll have to do some close-up shots a little later on, but just a beautiful, beautiful animal. And this guy is actually about two years old. He's got some good size on him. So hopefully he'll be ready to go to breed in another couple of years. Got a little bit of a head start since I've got some adult or female Argentines that are approaching adulthood, but it'll be great to pair this guy up. But just a really cool animal. Wow, well, look at this guy. Nice and healthy and stocky looking. So I'm going to go ahead. He's going to go in a quarantine enclosure, which I just keep a very simple tub with just a hiding place and a paper towel substrate. Just want to watch him for the next month or two. And if everything looks good after about three months, he'll be admitted to the main collection. You know, the main thing with these quarantine is mites. 
and you may have seen my videos on my I did a video about mites before but mites are the absolute scourge of the reptile industry and you can pick them up from somebody even if the person doesn't even know they have them so you have to make sure that even your closest friends who you completely trust you got to quarantine their animals and it has nothing to do with any breeders you know if I send you an animal I expect you to quarantine it just to protect any other animals you may have and you know I can tell you 100% I don't have any mites but how do you at home know you just have to you can't take any chances trust me do the proper quarantine so this guy will be in quarantine Ooh, look at that guy this guy will be in quarantine for the next few months you know, I don't imagine that there's any issues with him but just in case we need to make sure first and foremost we don't have any mites so beautiful animal I, you know shout out to Bob at Ancient Reproductions you know gorgeous much this animal will look nice on the internet but in person it's just so much more gorgeous the way that this pattern comes together so definitely looking forward to watching this guy develop so that's my unboxing video you know I hope you like this guy I'm you know I'm certainly thrilled with him and in the future I plan on doing more videos where this guy will play a, a key role and you can see uh, more up close shots of him Anyway, shoot me any questions you have, you know the drill. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.